today going to be covering uh, some Osmond Gold, where this is uh, Osmond Gold reacting to a reaction, and I'm reacting. So you've got three different reactions to the same subject, <laughs> which I thought was pretty awesome, which is dealing with the uh, Mr. Beast controversy pile on. But if you guys aren't familiar with Osmond Gold TV, he is quite entertaining. I discovered him a while back. Um, I was like, who's this guy? And I, I found him during the... Um, it was the trial of uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And out of all of the... Uh, coverage you know either i was going to ricada law or you know the law tube uh spectrum we have on youtube you know i was sampling them and then i went to him because his face expressions i mean look at his face on this one <laughs> and him and his take on things is is really awesome um he does cuss. Um, probably young children shouldn't watch him. He doesn't. He's not nasty at all. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Um, he he has good commentary. He's entertaining. Um, other YouTubers have um, obviously covered him, but in different aspects because he doesn't. Uh, he's not a neat freak. All right, and then who cares? It's his house. Who gives a damn? You know, when I, I saw a lot of those videos, maybe I'll do one uh, showing uh, some of the other people critiquing him and really being kind of nasty about it. And um, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but people's homes are people's homes. He, he lived where he wants to live. I mean, it is what it is, you know. And the guy's a millionaire, and, you know, they're saying, well, why don't you clean your house? Well, so what? It's his business. Who cares? The, 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 the main thing is, is that he's funny. He's entertaining. His face expressions are fabulous. I mean, that's what turned me into watching him and getting his take. And he covers anything from gaming, because he's, he's well known. He started out as a gamer uh, years ago. And he's just built this, you know, this following. Uh, he covers games. He plays games on PC. But he covers politics, uh, other things happening in uh, the, the world of YouTube, which everybody seems to be, you know, covering everybody else. And today we're going to be covering this one, Mr. Beast Issues a Final Warning. But I don't know if y'all know about the boogie guy where he claimed he had cancer or some craziness. He was another YouTuber. This guy here, where is he now? I haven't watched that one yet, but I've been meaning to. He just uploaded it a day ago. Um, but that guy was like one of the biggest... This guy here was one of the biggest YouTubers. And then he decided... I'm just going to go do AI, let my AI run my channels and stuff. So I'm interested in seeing how that goes. But anyway, um, he he's just really entertaining. If y'all want to get a kick out of stuff and, you know, and his take on it, like this Trump interview is a bloodbath. I haven't watched it yet. I've been I've been meaning to. Uh, and I don't know if y'all know who Penguin is, that whole thing with Penguin and Sneeko. Thing. Uh, a lot of this is young people look at. I mean, uh, but hey, it's a part of the the tube verse, if you want to call it. Uh, it's it's its own. YouTube is becoming its own world, right? And all, everybody's a neighbor. So, <laughs> so your neighbor's doing something nefarious. Or something spectacular, everybody's getting on this 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 bandwagon. And it just brings everybody everybody in. But like I said, if you go to his channel, check him out. Um he covers all kinds of things. Gaming, uh politics, um 
uh, he he covered the the Johnny Depp trial pretty thoroughly, and it was it was good. I was watching him a lot uh, because I just found it more entertaining. His face expressions during testimony and things like that were just spot. It was just it was epic. But um, here we're going to see him cover this other YouTube guy talking about this final cease and desist uh, that Mr. Beast um, sent to Dog Pack 404, which I did a video yesterday or the other day on it um, of all the allegations of Mr. Beast as a fraud. So. Here we go. Let's let's dive into this. Desists. Yeah, he's sending final like final warning, cease and desist, try and shut people down. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Beast's team is doubling down with another Damn. cease and desist. This time, the final warning. Send, to that's a dog pack. That's the guy that made that really popular video. I mean, look at his face. It is just fabulous. I love it. <laughs> I mean, and I love the way he talks. I don't care what anybody says. Um, who was it? Uh, call me Chris and her new boyfriend. I don't even know what his name is. But he did a video. She was in it just, you know, saying a few things. Um, I should have pulled that up. But they were hammering him. <laughs> and I was like, why? I love this guy. I mean, he has uh, 2 million, almost 3 million followers um, because he's good. He's very entertaining. And just uh, what I'm saying is you guys just watch it. Look at his face. <laughs> his face expressions, his rhythm of his speak. It's just so good. I mean, um, I think he's 30, but he's he still appeals to the young crowd and I, of course, I am way older than him, but he totally appeals to me because I, I just think he's 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 really funny and entertaining. <laughs> Watch his face expressions. Pack 404, who you all may know as the creator of the Mr. Beast is a Fraud video. Yep. At this point, that thing is freaking global. It's had about seven, almost it's eight crazy million amount views. Of views. So we can just go ahead and hop on over here to Twitter and see the cease and desist letter there that Dog Pack 404 was sent. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Cease and desist, final warning. He added a funny. Uh, that would be funny if the legal team, if Mr. Beast's legal team did send him that emoji. like that. Which I don't think they did. I don't even know if this is even legit. If, if Dog Pack 404 did this because if, if it was a cease and desist legit, maybe from a, a lawyer's office, they wouldn't have a stupid emoji on there, would they? I mean, this is ridiculous. But he's right. Would it be funny if they did? I I don't... I'm not seeing that a law firm would send a professional document with a stupid emoji like, Oh, cringe. <laughs> or emoji of somebody puking. Like, you're just spewing garbage. Stop it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that that would be funny, but probably a little happen. emoji. Dear Mr. Dog Pack, yeah. obviously that's his real name. This firm, new firm whose white collar criminal mm -hmm. defense practice is second to none, according to their website, uh -huh. has recently been retained by Mr. Beast YouTube LLC. Yep. Mr. Beast or the company, company, lethal company, and its founder Jimmy Donaldson regarding the unsettling news that you have embarked on a campaign to disparage Mr. Beast as a company and. De Watch um, Osmond's eyebrows, too. That's awesome. Fame Jimmy Donaldson as an individual. Not only are your statements about Mr. Beast and Jimmy Donaldson untrue, they also violate the clear, binding, enforceable terms of your confidentiality and non-disclosure agreement with Mr. Beast. I'm gonna be real. I do think that, like, this dude, this dog pack guy, he did go, like, he went pretty hard on Mr. Beast, and yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they could probably get him on a couple of things that at least would be enough to have a trial for defamation. He did like I mean he 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 had some real opinions on that right let's see what I I agree I agree with that uh like I said in my other videos I mean he he said call him out and he could probably get in a lot of trouble but again if uh Mr Beast uh 
wants to take it further and prove, disprove the, all those allegations, you know, then let's see it. Let's see it. What happened? Why? Well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they stream the trial. Yeah, that would be awesome. Date of March 25th, 2024. The NDA agreement, which you have shown in videos posted to the doesn't internet. doesn't matter if it's an NDA agreement because the NDA can't stop you from talking about things that were illegal. And he is talking about things that were illegal. So this is stupid argument. Why the fuck would you even say this? Now, right here, it says your statements about yeah. Mr. Beast and Jimmy Donaldson are untrue. He says, then prove it. You have all the footage, but instead of posting any, you've just been deleting more. <laughs> Yeah, just prove it. <laughs> just prove. Just prove it. Why are you saying all of this stuff? Well, he's right about the NDA. If uh, if there's criminal activity, then they're protected by the Whistleblower Act. Or, yep. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been seeing a lot of people mention, you know, Luckily, Dogpack404 here, you know, he's he's being covered. He's protected by a whistleblower act. And if you don't know what a whistleblower... Many non-disclosure agreements are illegal and void when they attempt to limit reporting of a crime. Yeah, everybody knows this, but the thing is calling Mr. Beast a fraud categorically or saying that he's doing certain things categorically is different than saying that a specific instance was breaking the law. I do think that Dogpack needs to watch what's going on. I do. I really think he needs to, he's got to watch about it right you don't want dog pack to go to pack watch <laughs> um, again for a gamer he has some good you know intellect into these things it's 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 and it's entertaining at the same time yeah the dog pack Act is. It's basically someone inside of a company who leaks information that may be covered by an NDA if it is breaking the law or if somehow it is dangerous or it falls into this U.S. Department of Labor's, um, you know, forms of whistleblower protections, right? The Department of Labor is here to protect your rights. An employer cannot retaliate against you for exercising your rights under the Department of Labor whistleblower protection mm -hmm. laws. And retaliation includes such actions as firing or laying off, demoting, denying overtime. He's got nothing to fucking do with it because he was already unemployed by them. Yes, yes. He, he had already left them, but Mr. Beast has got to come out and prove it. If if the allegations are false, but I don't think that guy before he, when he signed some disclosure paper has anything to do with with the, with uh, the impact of him making these allegations. Um. Motion or reducing pay or hours. As you can see on this website, the National it. Whistleblower Center, we have a rundown of basically how um, you know it describes what an NDA is. It's a legal yeah. contract between two parties, employer and an employee, prohibits the sharing of information deemed confidential, right? However, such agreements can be used to silence whistleblowers in order to keep a legal activity under wraps. Additionally, NDA may prohibit the employee from informing the government about the existence of the NDA and the restrictions placed upon them. Now, these are going to be linked below. Lots of great useful resources and you can kind of come to your own conclusions yeah. but what we are looking at here is a situation where if you know dog pack 404 can confirm that the things in his videos are either opinion based or he can prove that he's looking at public information like the mr beast streams mr beast videos that are posted to youtube he can argue that he's simply just a whistleblower or that he's covering um public information and now we did yeah, I I agree with that. I mean, he if they come after him and he gets an attorney, that's all he's got to say. Hey, this was all public information. I gathered this information. Yeah, I worked for them, but this is it. Now Mr. Beast has to prove me wrong. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Did cover in the past. No, I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. So the reason why is that covering public information still keeps you liable because you have an obligation to not uh, be grossly negligent or completely misinterpret what happened. Like, just because you hear something from somebody else or you interpret it a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that you're immune from uh, defamation. But that is an extreme case, and I don't... Well, if he's not being immune from defamation, he's getting his information straight from the videos. I mean, I watched his video. 
it was showing, I mean, he's calling him a fraud because he's accusing him of teaching gambling, uh, the lottery, and his videos are fake. I mean, and a lot of his stuff came from him pulling stuff off of Mr. Beast's own Facebook page and, and his, uh, his YouTube page. So I don't know. I don't think that he will, I don't think that his extreme is there, but the concerns that I have is that he made a number of kind of general statements about Mr. Beast, and I'm concerned that those general statements are the ones that are going to be the highest degree of liability. Because, like, for example, him saying the Mr. Beast giveaways are a scam, I don't think that one's as problematic, but it might be. It's hard to say. You have to prove that he knew the statement was fake? No, you don't. You can also prove that he didn't know that it was fake, but he posted it with no regard to the truth. Like, there's a reckless abandon. Like, you basically, like, you didn't do it on purpose, but you didn't give a fuck so much that it might as well have been on purpose. It's like the same, uh, you know, like, logical context as, you know, gross negligence still making you liable, even though you might have signed a waiver to waive liability. Yeah, but if they can go back, and I would think that they would have kept records of when they were giving all this product away. Now, in his video, he showed that, oh, in that one, I guess it was a 24-hour video where they were saying, well, he ended up giving about $50,000 worth of, of product out with people buying the shirts. That was on the stat page. But if they're illegal and they're not doing it, then when they have records showing everybody they sent stuff to that said, okay, yeah, we get we sent them this, we sent them that, and they all got what they what they asked for. But again, is it gambling? Is it deceptive? Does anybody care? I don't know. I mean, they're kids. They're that's promoting it to kids. Like that's kind of like that's just that's a parallel kind of close, right? Asked how the original cease and desist was pretty interesting mm -hmm. because it was almost like an admission of guilt of all of the things that Dogpack mentioned in the original video. I don't there think was that's a, like the truth is that a cease and desist is not an admission of guilt, but it it's perceived that way. Really much information related to. I think it's just a formality that is his legal team. And he's right, it is perceived that way if you're sending out cease and desist, but then again, it's not because, I mean, if, if anybody was in a situation like that and you had attorneys, then yeah, they're going to set that stuff out that either you got to have a gag order, you got to stop, you know, until we figure it out what, you know. Libel, slander. It was more about mm -hmm. the fact that Dogpack was revealing insider information, which is quite weird because if nothing in that video that is almost at 7 million followers yeah. now is real, what is it revealing? See, that was my point about it when he was saying earlier where all of the stuff that he was getting this stuff from was from the video. So how was it inside information? If he wasn't there on that boat where they did the thing where they said they slept on a boat for a week or ever how many days, and then he said Mr. B slept in the cruise ship, um, I mean, he was getting that from the clips. He's like, oh, all of a sudden there's nobody in the little cots, but now they're they're in the cots. So it all came from the videos. Now, in this tweet, we're going to be diving into some very... Somebody says, what the fuck? Suing for defamation in itself is fraud. He's making statements where he says, in my opinion, he stated in so many times on, on certain topics based on evidence and statistics he gathered. Would you not agree with that statement? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I think that if you post public information out there and the public information was released with no regard to what the truth was, if this can be proven in a court, I don't think that saying it's just my opinion is a get-out-of-jail-free card. I think that if you allow that to happen, you open up the possibility for a number of other types of abuses to happen that are probably better left undone. So I understand what you're saying, but I don't think that saying, in my opinion, I don't think this is a complete, like, get out of jail free card. And I'm not taking Mr. B's side on this, by the way. I'm saying, like, from what my understanding of the law is, 
I am concerned. That doesn't mean I, I, I think he's wrong. I just, I'm not sure. Court case would require a public basic discovery. So if we go to court, we'll get all the information to, as to whether they're fake or not. That's true. It's like saying in Minecraft. Yeah, exactly. He does a lot of Pretty references good. to games too while he's, while he's talking. Uh, yeah, I mean, if the text is true, he'd say, well, he wants a response. Look, Mr. Beast is not going to respond. He's going to have his attorneys respond. Cease and desist. Stop, please. He's not going to just come out and go, oh, it's not true. Uh, I mean, because they're going to, he's going to have to go, he's got to protect his image, right? He's so big, he's going to have to protect his image. And he's going to need this cocoon of lawyers to, to help him with that. Very harsh allegation territory right so all of this is alleged all of this is based on just me reading public information right right but again allegedly this is happening dog pack says also my number got leaked apparently from a mr beast employee named kaylee i've been getting texts from former mr beast employees text i received last night claims that james jimmy mr beast wants to have private investigators start following me and looking into my family's Damn. social media accounts now this is dog 40 dog pack 40 for saying this uh, i don't know this is just how much of this is is true i don't know i don't know <laughs> look at his face he's like damn they're gonna be following him around oh my god gangsta find ways to discredit me apparently the damn bro <clears throat> mr beast is going mafia <laughs> oh shit i'd say gangster he said mafia This narrative they have right now is that I'm a crazy drug addicted mr beast super fan that got fired for trying to steal company funds well, it didn't help him at the beginning of that video. I know y'all probably seen it where he's all like, I'm here to Mr. Beast and I'm going to in his eyes and his pupils are all dilated. Yeah, it looks like he's on drugs. So why not attack his credibility? Yeah, that's actually what they should have gone with from the beginning. The person who made the post about it originally shouldn't have addressed any of the concerns. They should have only destroyed his credibility. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And I think that if they had done that, it would have turned out better for them than if they had tried to address, no, the raccoon actually was an actor. <laughs> like, that's the dumbest fucking thing. Because, like, the guy did come off like a bit of a schizo, especially yeah, at the beginning did. of the video. But the thing is, they should have took the liberal, the liberal playbook where... You don't have any substance to, to talk about, so you attack, you personally attack them and divert, beat around the bush from the real issue. <laughs> yeah, he personally attack them and, you know, discredit them. That's, that's the liberal playbook right there. And that's the part everybody is going to see. And it's not that that would be, it's, it's, that's not a morally good thing to do. But yeah. like in terms of effectiveness, I think that's what they should have gone with instead of trying to actually attack the arguments. They should have attacked his character instead. This is a mistake. Now, does that surprise anyone? I mean, it's very possible. Again, allegations, allegations, allegations. None of this may be true. Yeah. Does it surprise anyone that a millionaire, one of the most successful YouTube channels of all time, would be trying to silence someone? And the best way to do that is by trying to paint them out to be deceptive, lying, kind of like we've well, seen. Of course, Chuck that's what they should do. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that it also, by the way, there's an element of, of authenticity of that. Yes. If somebody is a drug addict that got fired after only working there for a month, I would absolutely, that would definitely be a negative in terms of me interpreting their testimony as being right or not. Absolutely it would be. That is true. That is true. But. But. The allegations still have to be proven. Now. I don't even know if Mr. Beast even really is concerned with this. Like, this is just going to be a distraction. Just a little bit of a distraction, and it's not going to affect our bottom line. Um, I had saw he just posted a video today or yesterday, and man, it already has like 100 million views on it. 
So it's not deterring him from what he's doing. Uh, the video was, um, he was in a bunker, a nuclear bunker for a week or something was the, uh, the thumbnail. And it had, and I noticed it had a bunch of views. I didn't click on it and watch it, but uh, I was like, whoa, you know. So in the midst of all this, he uh, he's just going on with his daily life. I think this is just a, distract, a distraction. He's going to let his attorneys handle it. He doesn't need to personally come and uh, defend himself, and he probably shouldn't. He should just be quiet. I mean, I'm, yeah, like for any normal person, it would be, yeah, for sure you should take this into consideration. It's not even a question. He tried to. Yeah, I mean, if he's. He didn't help his cause by putting that little piece in the front of the video so everybody can speculate that the guy's on drugs, but. Uh, I mean, he might have been just doing it for effect, too. I don't know, because it was kind of funny. I mean, once you saw that, you're like, what the hell? And then he's sitting in a field with um, corn stalk or something, and he seems normal, and he's talking normal and all that. So, I don't know. If I'm, is he being funny? It, it was kind of funny to me, the way he did it and rambled off really quick, but a lot of people perceive it as this guy is on drugs. And are you going to take somebody who takes drugs, or are you going to uh, take them seriously? To do um kind of like the, we've seen people like nathan who leaked the 500,000 discord messages that's a lot get silenced would it be surprising <laughs> that was a chris tyson mr beast discord links was taken down yesterday morning and served with what we can only assume is a cease and desist they terminated everything to do with the website and the repository with no notice that's crazy I don't know why that's crazy if they the website that was hosted by Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast Discord. Yeah, he needs to disassociate himself from Chris Tyson. Like worlds apart. He needs to get away from him. This guy is being accused of grooming children. Yeah, he's got to get away from him. So I I don't think that's crazy at all. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Uh, the the distancing. And they had to terminate all of that. I mean, yeah, the propriety of it, oh, y'all are running cleanup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That these companies, you know, are going out to do dog pack and saying, shh, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy, right? He says, if this text is true, I will say, Mr. Beast, if you want to resort to personal attacks, I'm happy to reciprocate or, you know, just address the evidence. So we have the texts here. It says, dude, has anyone at Beast contacted you about the post you're making? I've been reading the NDA over to see what I can and can't post because I'd like to move on with my life and try having some type of social media presence. Not planning on ever mm -hmm. mentioning I worked at Beast, but if it got out or if somehow, some way I accidentally mentioned it, I wanted to make sure I was going to get sued to hell. Yeah, sure. <laughs> also, if you're going to post my message for proof you worked at Beast, I don't care. Just don't show my number. You can save it how you want. Okay. Also, I got your number from Kaylee. I don't have access to anything beast like slack or anything obviously i'm not a beast employee i'm a former employee someone else i know told me they texted you on reddit talking about kaylee and leroy i'm not that person and i won't okay. mention any current or former mr beast employees because of nda yeah sure okay so these are texts that some some girl said she got his number pack dog's number and they're having these this conversing in text messages Is it bullshit? I don't know. And then we have another one here. It says, I mean, because really, would Mr. Beast be like, hey, man. Kaylee. Start a conversation and try to be his buddy. I don't know. What the fuck? It could be just all bullshit. Or it could be legit. Is Dawson again? That's Dog Pack's name. I'm texting you anonymously to let you know that I heard James wants to have private investigators. Bro, they using first names <laughs> instead of calling him Jimmy. Bro, he's got <laughs> the mark of the beast on him now. Oh my god! Oh man! 
He's Start got beast mode. Looking into every detail of oh, your life. Shit. Shit. No to reach kidding, out to your man. former employees, find all your social mode. media accounts, your family's Gangsta. social media accounts, videos of you, anything. They already have a Google Doc listing possible ways to discredit you, including you're on drugs and have mental health problems, your mom is bipolar, you're an obsessed super fan, you're crying, begging for your job back after they fired you, you tried to steal company funds, etc. Yeah, I and by the way, if this stuff was true, I would immediately take what Dogpack was saying less seriously. Like, I would. Absolutely. And I, I would take everything with way more, uh, I, I would be much more discerning. Absolutely. I don't know what's yeah. true. Mom is bipolar. What's Good that's mom. messed up. I really that's think you should just up. take everything down ASAP. If you take it down, they'll leave you of alone. Of course they will. So at this point, they've got... I mean, they end the text with, if you just take it down, they'll leave you alone. So is that telling you that somebody from James insider sent this to kind of shook you know say hey they got all this information they're attacking you if you just take it down they'll leave you alone I mean that kind of screaming to me like somebody was put up to send him that I mean somebody just out of the kindness of their heart just reached out to him like hey there's they're they're doing some gangster mafia shit, you know. You they know your mom. I mean, start talking shit about his mom. Like, damn, that's brutal. Gone from cease and desist to allegedly, 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 possibly. None of this is true. Having people unknown numbers that have never been in contact with Dawson yeah. do not and should not have his phone number and private information exactly. reaching out to him saying hey buddy it'd be a real shame if someone were to slander you and ruin your whole life unless of course you just took the video down I mean that would be an easy solution Bro, he doing mafia tactics that's smart <laughs> right yep I don't know if dog pack is I mean you would think the the time he spent to put that video together. He put a lot of effort in that video. If y'all have watched it, you need to watch it. Now I covered it. Oz covered it. You guys could go find the original. Go to the guy's site, Dog Pack Four Hundred Four. Watch it without no commentary. <clears throat> but the thing is, he he put a lot of time in that video. And while he's doing this video, he's got to know. You are attacking the biggest guy on YouTube. So one, he's on drugs and he's crazy and he's just going to go for it anyway. Or two, no, he's not a disgruntled employee and he wants to expose Mr. Beast. I don't know which way to go, but you would think... Uh, any logical person, I guess, would think, my God, do I need to do this? This is going to, this could potentially ruin me. You know, especially maybe ruin him as far as being a content creator or whatever. I, I don't know. What's his, what's his motivation? <laughs> what was his motivation? He just out of the goodness of his heart, I need to expose this guy because he's in he's in league with Chris Tyson and they're grooming children. Mr. Beast knows about it. They all knew about it that he was Chris Tyson was a uh, what do they call it? A person who's attracted to minors. What the hell? So you have this connection here. Maybe this is his way of trying to get it exposed. I don't know. I'm I'm really hoping there's a deep dive investigation from uh, the law. Uh, checking those discords, all communications, their personal phone. I mean, who? Hey, there could be shit coming out where if they took all their phones, personal phones, not just on a discord server, but personal texting back and forth if it could have gone that far i mean i haven't heard anybody talk about it because there's been no evidence or, or nobody's come out to say well hey they got they they took his phone well they probably should right completely investigate this especially those parents of those kids i mean if it was my kid i would be like hey i want an investigation i want something done but then again i'd be embarrassed like 
I didn't know my kid was doing this. I wasn't checking his phone. I wasn't picking up his phone. I'm not looking at what he's doing. I mean, come on, parents. You've got to take some responsibility, too, for this stuff. For the, the, that whole uh, situation on Discord with Chris Tyson and with Mr. Beast because he chimed in, too, on that. So what what motivated uh, Dog Pack to do this knowing that, oh, man, he could just go, he could go to jail. I mean, he can't get blood out of a turnip. I know that guy got, doesn't have any money. And he's, unless some attorney's going to come up and represent him pro bono, because you know Mr. Beast has probably got the best that money can buy. Yep. You know, this last video shows him receiving the text. And he said, Sorry about that. What? And it says, this number is no longer in service. He says, what the F? It says, stop. He says, what? Stop. This is so creepy. Leave. Hello? Hello? What? What? Very creepy. I don't know if that's some type of, like, maybe they know. used a um, Google number, some type of throwaway what number, and it's giving bot replies. I don't know. I've never seen a bot reply leave before, though. That's very interesting. Very creepy. Getting Squid Game vibes. You know how Jimmy loves them Squid Games, allegedly. Yeah. I feel like I got to say that after every single thing I say nowadays, because I might look out my window and see a... He's going to be there. Mr. Beast or Chris yeah, Tyson. Yeah, he's going to uh, be Chris coming for you, my guy. Yeah. Know. <laughs> now, Watch I out. actually reached yeah. out to Dog Pack on Twitter. He was nice Gangsta. enough to reply. He let me know that he's been watching the videos. He's loving the coverage. You guys are loving the coverage. I'm grateful that I'm able to do this and, you know, yeah. make a little bit this of money. This dude seems to be guessing about everything. I mean, wow. like, I don't think it's really like that. Like, I mean, for example, like, I mean, having, like, if I was Mr. Beast, what would I do? Like, if I was in his situation, I would maybe try the intimidation route. I mean, that's definitely, like, kind of a good idea, right? I mean, yeah, the but mafia, there's a reason why the mafia does it. It's because it works. Yeah, it's not very moral. And so, uh, that's so scum? Well, I'm not, uh, the guy, scummy. guys are really scum, right? I mean, it's I'm saying, totally like, scummy. Mr. Beast. Like, well... Like, I'm just thinking about, like, how how would I think about it? How would I approach it? How about just let your so, attorneys handle it? Yeah, I, I feel like it only works in a week. Yeah, but it's smart to try that first, right? Because if you can, then that immediately, that solves a problem before it becomes a problem. Maybe. Try to have everything plausible deniability, then admit you're nothing wrong? Yeah. No, I just think you'd let, just let your attorneys handle it. <sighs> What else are you going to do? Like, yeah. I, I wonder what's going to happen with this because, yeah, Mr. Beast video, we hire a hitman. Oh, that would be good. And if he deletes <laughs> his video, so what? You and other people already talked about it and have videos. Yeah. And that's the other thing is like, I feel like once something like this gets out, you can't really put the, you know, you ever try and put toothpaste back in the toothpaste thing? It does, doesn't happen, How right? How about the genie back in to, the bottle? You know, like, uncrumple a sheet of paper? Like, it doesn't happen. It can't like, happen. That's it. It's broken. It's done. It's so, broken. So, it, it's already out there, is what I'm saying. Is that you? It's not going back in the box. Like, it's done. Yeah, but how much further is this going to go? Like he said, I mean, is this, uh, we just... All like, okay, he's got this video, all the, the content creators are, are covering it, which you should, you know, because it's something. It's not nothing, so it's something. But is it going to go away? We're yet to be seen. Um, I guess if his channel got affected, if it's seen, I, I don't know, because so far it's not affecting him. As far as I can see. Now, I don't know. Maybe I can quit my job one day and do they this me? full time. Did Either they way, me? No. he reached out to me. I asked him a few very no, important questions, I think. I asked him, I'm curious on a few things. When did you decide you want to make a video on Mr. Beast? What made you want to do it? And did it have anything to do good with leaving the job? Mm -hmm. Plus, did you think his content was all fake or a scam before you worked there? Yeah. Now, if you guys have better that's questions question. than that, yeah. let me know down below. Maybe I can reach out to... I mean, that's a real damn good question. <laughs> Why did you do it? What motivated you? Did you have any thought of repercussions from this? Dog pack and ask him. He says, decided to make the video a little over a month ago. I just felt like 
the Mr. Beast company needed to be exposed. I really tried hard to change things from within the company, like bringing up the predatory advertising practices to higher ups and suggesting ways to make the competitions more fair. So if this is true, Mr. Beast was like, mm, more fair. Nah. <laughs> so if he only worked there a month and he's already talking to the higher ups, I guess my question would be, what position did you have? Or is that under the clause that he can't talk about? Because he signed some paper, he can't disclose things. But he can disclose if there's criminal, criminal activity, right? He can disclose that. But what was his... What was his role? If he was able to talk to somebody higher up, he must have been somewhere. He must have been somewhere to be able to touch that. Y'all know how the chain of command goes. I mean, you got your peons, you got your middle level, higher level, and then you got the top. I mean, where was he where he could, he's saying where he could go and he suggested these things. He said that in his video too. He suggested, he goes, well, I think it's 70-30 on advertising this or that and the guy tells him it was opposite so any and even in his video he claims he spoke to somebody the higher up suggesting something <laughs> predatory practices that's good he says it was frustrating. Also, they didn't reimburse me for travel, which was promised. Would have been like three hundred dollars. Oh my god! Company. That's Stop. crazy. I don't know how many times I should, should have mentioned. Mr. Beast makes hundreds. Of <laughs> should have paid him the three hundred bucks, man. <laughs> should have given him that three hundred bucks. God. This is all over three hundred bucks. Hey, man. Money's tight. Food costs are through the roof, and I know y'all know it, because dad blame, man. Food is crazy. A loaf of bread, a cheap loaf of bread is two bucks, and that's the cheapest one. It's like, yeah, he needed that 300 bucks, my guy. What a mistake. A year. He says, I knew the videos were fake, but to an extent, but seeing Mac was a surprise. I feel like those vids were completely scripted, and him being in the vids was like a part of his compensation. Definitely didn't think he was running illegal lotteries or fake giveaways. Now, a bit of good news, mm -hmm. my friends. Nathan W., who's the one who ended up leaking out the Chris Tyson 500,000 messages yeah. from the creepy 500, Discord. 000. Their video... I love how people think they're going to be able to take this off. Like, bro, after this information comes out, like, think about this. The United States government couldn't shut down WikiLeaks. So how the hell are they going to shut you down fucking think you're gonna a Discord do? channel? Damn. Stop it. <laughs> Just fucking stop it. Just say it. That's it. It's out. Right? It's out. Like, it's not going back in. It's out. Genie's out of the bottle, guy. Their website got cease and desisted the other day. Everything was taken down silently, was quietly. Yeah. He announces. Like, the... Dis Disney, Cinemax, Metro, Golden, Meyer, uh, fucking Warner Brothers can't shut down the Pirate Bay. The United States government can't <laughs> shut down WikiLeaks, but you think that you as a YouTuber are going to be able to shut down somebody? Absolutely fucking delusional. <laughs> Completely delusional. 500,000 Discord messages. Now, I'd assume that the authorities have them all. Because when it was up, I know a bunch of streamers downloaded that shit. Uh, so somebody needs to go through all of it. The Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast Discord links have been successfully re-uploaded by Uncensored V. You can view them here. I'm going to censor this just to protect myself, but you guys are more than welcome to check out Nathan Duff. Yeah, I knew when they said that they was gonna, they took it down. That somebody else already had it. And was gonna boom, pop that stuff right back up. Use Twitter. Yeah. Go check out the leaks. Go make them some. Go make some backups. Do what you want to do to preserve this information before the next season desist comes, because you probably know it's right around the corner. Either way, guys, that's a bit of a small update. Mm -hmm. As always, you know, I'm doing research. I'm looking into um, Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson's yeah. YouTube channel that is now a fan page. I'm looking into that the right fam. now. Into this Comic Con situation. Oh, a lot the fan like the Just keep those Kendrick likes Lamar, coming. Keep those subs coming. Keep sharing. Yeah, freaky keep liking. Ass. 
I love doing this. Yeah. Love you guys. Peace out. Right. Okay. So here's really uh, here's really what's going on. Mr. Beast is going to be doing himself literally zero favors by sending cease and desist. Like, nobody is going to give a fuck about this. The information is already out there. At this point, if you go and you put the... Like, it, it just it makes you look... And by the way, a cease and desist <laughs> is not an admission of guilt. But it looks like it is. Yeah, but I'm still questioning if that was even a legit from, from him. Like I said, there was a stupid emoji on it. To me, it's like this. It it didn't look legit. It didn't look professional. You know, like uh, a freaking emoji from uh, lawyers, attorneys, or somebody. What was his human resources office sent this? What has he got? A fifteen year old. <laughs> Mister B's got a fifteen year old working for human resources. They put, they got emojis all over it. <laughs> Damn. But it didn't look legit to me, so I don't know. A, it looks like it is. And so when you see somebody trying to take down a video like this, you know, how many times have y'all heard they tried to stop me from speaking out because I was telling the truth? <laughs> That's just the way that people think. And so, yeah, uh, like I was overtake stock situation online. Yeah, because, I mean, the docs, that's, there's nothing really more to it than that. Right? That's it. And so you should have joked and doubled down. Yeah, what's better in your opinion, like denying it or just ignoring it? Well, if I would, like, I mean, I wonder if we could go into a parallel universe if Mr. Beast just said, yeah, I understand it. There's some accusations about the company most of them are untrue and the ones that are true we're going to investigate them <laughs> and now at the end of all of osmond's videos he re he'll take what uh you know five five minutes or ten minutes and he reads um i'm guess he's reading this the, his chats so i don't know if they're super chats or whatever he's reading chat questions and then he answers them so he does a a give and take through this part and this is what he's doing this is most all his videos how he ends them which is good it's it's good and then he said by the way there's a new video coming out tomorrow and that'd be it like that literally yeah. just be it right that'd be smart yeah just say yeah that's that's basically what happened investigate your say yeah we had an internal investigation uh my uh my 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 brother investigated it and he said that i didn't do anything wrong and so uh yeah well anyway so we locked in you know uh 50 12 year olds in a chocolate factory and guess which one died first you know there's the video go watch it Maybe he's going to stop uh, further getting shit out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, he's a physician. Yeah, no, it, the more that you spend, the more time that you spend talking about it, the worse it is. Pretty much. Like, that's the way I see it. I'm going to put the link in the description and y'all can watch the whole entire thing. He's just going to be answering some questions at the end, but um, I'll put the link to this in the description. And I think you guys need to check out Osman Gold. He. He's so entertaining. There's other videos. He's got thousands of them. I mean, they cover all kinds of stuff. So, and I I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And sometimes it's a nice break from the normal news that some of us grown-ups watch and stuff. And then getting his perspective is it's it's refreshing. It's different. It's a different take on it. Uh, maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea, and that's fine too. But uh, I find him amusing. I like him. I recommend you checking him out. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and have a good day.